Bye, greetings from Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. My name is Viktor Fusov, and this is the channel Viktor Fusov, entomology of the capital of Ukraine. And today, uh, November 7, 2016, and I am at Tarashevchenko Boulevard in the center of Kiev, just in front of the Sarabka food market. And just I'm walking down, and I'm just thinking about this day many years ago. Why? Because November 7, this was a red day in the history of a former USSR, right? Yes, it was a celebration, celebration day, and today that's practically nothing. That's why I'm just going to the place where was the monument devoted to a uh, great uh, leader of uh, Soviet communist Vladimir Lenin and the remnants of this monument. And by the way, already, you know, 25th, the uh, year of independence or 27, right, 27, because uh, Soviet Union uh, demolished in 1991 a new independent Ukraine appeared in this time and actually many things changed and of course this uh, celebration day or the second day of a uh, seventh day of November as the day of a uh, great October socialist revolution was postponed or not postponed was deleted from the calendar was deleted why because uh, communism or socialism changed to capitalism why communism actually people didn't say that we were living in a communism in this time people were saying we were living in the advanced stage of development developed socialism developed socialism but nobody didn't know what was the meaning of the developed socialism. So this was a question. But nevertheless, a majority of politicians were considered that it was a time of a communist. No, no, people didn't live in communism. It was a Soviet political leader Khrushchev who said that probably uh, from 60s till 70s, after 20 years of development of a socialism, people will be living in communism but that was not the case but <coughs> nevertheless nevertheless uh, communistic ideas were still living everywhere in the world and by the some remnants of that they're living everywhere around and by the way that's i just was i'm just coming to this remnants of a communist time so this is uh, just a basement the basement the basement of monument devoted to Vladimir Lenin and you can uh, easily recognize that uh, no political leader, no Lenin here and there is a special mark here where you mark heroes revolutionaries a revolutionary who was killed for the truth with some poetry two leaders of a movement in Ukraine well, so you see a very interesting monument, very interesting monument, very interesting plug here and very unusual place, just not unusual, central place, just in front of the Besarabka market. Besarabka market, famous food market in the center of Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. And you see here uh, intensive traffic and there are some, yeah, I would say, expensive shops around and some apartments by the way as well uh, you see here some pubs some restaurants and some banks uh, dish and here okay and this is uh, just in front of me in front of Besarovka market uh, very expensive apartments and houses uh, Expo Plaza I do remember and Pinchuk Center also Art Center as well and this buildings with some apartments but as I know, the many apartments in Khrushchev Street, this is central Khrushchev Street, uh, already were sold by owners and there are a lot of uh, officers here, officers here, because uh, different, not governmental, but business structures, they just have their offices here in, at Khrushchev Street. So, and this is monument to Volodymyr Lenin, political leader of uh, former USSR, no USSR now in Ukraine and Russia, in the former USSR republics, as you know, because now it's uh, 2016, 
and Soviet Union was destroyed in 1991. So you can think is it good, it is bad, but this is a history. So this a short story from the center of Kiev and I just wanted to show you a little bit of places here, some buildings, apartments and okay you can see even some expensive cars which are just moving here everywhere around. So thank you for watching, write your comments, press likes and subscribe to my channel. I'm looking forward to see you as my subscriber. Good luck and see you soon on my channel. Viktor Kurso, Entomologist with Ukraine. Ukraine. If you like to ask questions, write your questions just down this video. Good luck and see you soon.